good evening everybody or good morning depending where you live on this planet so yeah the pandemic continues we are shut down in our homes there is no better thing to pass the time that paint some miniatures that you have standing sitting on your shelves for probably months like in my case so yeah tonight we are continuing painting the marvel crisis protocol and uh, by random choice made by my wife tonight we are painting the crossbones so yeah i got some paint prepared over here mostly citadel contrast paints some one wash that i want to do some tricky things that i did on a previous miniatures that i really liked so i want to do that again see if it works again in my favor and yeah uh, thank you all for joining whoever joins uh, i hope you are at least using me as a background noise but if you are painting do let me know in the chat what you are working on so yeah uh, shall we start uh, okay so my idea for him is uh, because he's mostly just black color I could be done in like 15 minutes painting this miniature but I want to switch things up a little bit make some things look different so he's not like pure black all over everything so yeah first first things first we are going to go and paint the flesh for that we are going to use the Gilman flesh color the best color for the flesh if you ask me so yeah we're going to go and do that first wait this pot is not listening to my commands okay so I just need to bring some more paints up here so this will be a quick job uh, this skin because he is not he does not have that many skin showing just his arms and a little bit of his face and his neck and we are done with the skin tone this is going to be a super quick skin painting job so yeah I hope you are all doing well in these troubled times it's really hard being stuck in a house all day you don't want to go out risk infecting yourself or maybe others I heard, at least I read somewhere in the news, not sure if that is the true, if that's correct, but apparently in Russia you have two options, either be in quarantine for 15 days or face 5 years in a prison. <laughs> so I think that's really like super strict thing, but yeah, okay so I did messed up a little bit yeah it really doesn't matter because the black will go over it so it will probably fix it by itself so we don't need to worry about it so I want to pull a little bit of this paint over here we have a Slaven Karakar has joined us Let's paint together, he says. He just finished his Viking and starting the Greek. Uh, tell people uh, where those Viking and Greeks are coming from. What game are you painting, my friend? If you don't know Slaven, you should watch some of our top 10 lists. That's, that's the guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay, I missed a little bit of hand here. So what else is to be done when you are in quarantine but to paint miniatures? I wonder how big is backlog of other people? Okay so the skin part is done. That was really quickly. So 
we will remove this so it doesn't bother us anymore because we don't need it yeah Slavin is painting I mean I knew what he was painting he is painting monumental wonderful wonderful game too bad uh, I'm not really sure how to set that up but maybe we could try and, and do like a live painting both of us painting miniatures stuff like that so you know like I stream and, and incorporate you in a stream somehow I will have to see if that is possible somehow okay I just right I just now noticed that I have like some refresh rate going on Kotska is here hey hey Kotska so I have some weird fresh rate going on so I'm gonna mantle with the camera a little bit so I'm sorry if you maybe get like attack or like that um, oh my god I don't know how to say it in English so yeah I'm sorry but there might be some flashing lights and stuff like that so yeah be aware of that okay this one is just brighter but it doesn't negate the ex maybe the, the exposure rate okay like this but then I turn the brightness down a little bit and I put the gain on zero or if I no no oh, no most definitely not <laughs> okay so I'm really not sure how can I make this look better without that weird refresh rate I guess that's just uh, how the camera works with this light and we'll have to deal with it okay I think this is the best I can do with what I have right now so I hope it is not too dark I hope you can see clearly what I'm doing so yeah Kotska just joined us see now you know that I'm streaming because I make a announcement about it okay so next thing we are going to use a Creed camo camo and we are going to use it for his shirt because I could paint his shirt black but it would just be too much of a black overall so I wanted to switch it up a little bit green is always a good color for military guys so yeah he's getting a green shirt dark greenish shirt and I think I just might do a two coats of it just to make it super dark or I'll leave it at this one it looked like first that it will not be that good but I'm actually liking it how it turns out to be so we're gonna leave it like that okay yeah you got notification this time because I did create like an event but uh, all of these other live streams that I did I was just sitting at home not really sure if I'll be able to do it and then when I knew I can I just started the streams so I was well aware that I would probably be the only one and my mom maybe <laughs> watching those streams so yeah no problem there my friend so Zeblik is here. Zeblik, hello Zeblik. What are you painting these days, my friend? I know I told you we were, we are going to talk over the Instagram about something, but I completely forgot to get in touch with you. I wanted, then something got me distracted, and then I completely forgot about it. I apologize deeply for it, and do remind me what were we talking about I, I think that Kotska he he is not a painter he tried it once at the Olympus an event that we organize 
and he said it's not for him but maybe if he watch these videos he will change his mind and he will start painting now that would be cool to know that you made somebody look into painting and kind of like it I think you have potential my friend you just lack some basic patience I know when we were painting you looked you looked really really impatient <laughs> like you really want it to be over as soon as possible so you can just return to gaming maybe that was the issue okay so his green shirt is done at least I think it is some more around here maybe just on a few places to darken it up okay oh I like this creed camo green it looks really cool Uh, At Atlantis Rising uh, oh my god so many comments uh, I guess we will not be painting this one in under an hour tonight so Atlantis Rising uh, we won every time we played I think but we always played like the super easy mode and with uh, like startup characters and all that I think we maybe once switched to some different characters and it was hard but we kind of managed to win somehow that game really sparks the the work together with with other players it you really 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 start working with others so yeah but uh, I have this deep space d6 I wanted to maybe live stream some gameplay of deep space d d6 that is uh, just a solo game you cannot play it multiplayer it is just a solo experience but I'm not really sure if people would tune into that so I'll have to see for now at least I'm doing this painting so I think I just might stick to that but we'll see so Zeblik is playing Zombicide oh no he's painting not playing painting Zombicide Yeah, we were talking about a wet palette. You wanted to send me some some of those uh, that are not greasy, those papers and all that. Yeah, I'm going to get in touch with you on Instagram, man. I promise. If I'm not, please send me a message on Instagram. Tell me what's up, man, how you're doing. And then we'll continue talking from there because I promise a lot to a lot of people. And then I just completely forgot. It is very irresponsible of me and I will try to get better at it. Okay now we are going with the wild wood contrast paint and we are going to paint some straps this uh, pistol holder and my brush just <laughs> went down on the floor and it bent a little bit ah it, it's almost near its lifetime so yeah we're gonna paint some straps for of, that he has on the legs for these things over here and then we are going to paint his clothes his boots his leg like his trousers and this armor black and then we're gonna do some stuff to change it up a little bit make it pop so to say okay so the gun casing is going to be brown not the casing the gun holster I just want few parts here and there to be different colors because he would look super boring if everything is just one black color if you ask me at least but okay so the straps are I'm trying to avoid this middle part because it is actually metal so we are going to go with the metal over it pretty soon I'm sorry if you cannot see what I'm doing right now but this is very weird angle that I'm trying to get to paint all these so forgive me for that the 
setup on my camera is not the best I already talked about it yesterday a little bit I'll have to rethink how I would do this painting videos parchment paper yeah that was the thing that we talked about Uh, audio books is a great idea but very rarely but uh, what I used to do lately is um, I uh, watch the TV shows that I don't have time to watch anymore due to baby and everything so there are a lot of TV shows that I watched and that I said I cannot regularly follow so when I'm painting I usually watch for that shows like listening mostly painting and I just put them on my screen and watch the shows and I noticed one thing that I completely don't follow the storyline of the show I'm just watching it out of sort of obligation so to say since I really find it hard to paint the miniature and watch what people are doing on a screen is really not working that well for me okay so these straps are a little bit messy to do and this looks really ugly now but once we are done when everything comes together as one big lovely uniform it will look good so we just need to go and con just continue painting and yeah I know I know Kotska that you are not a painter but I think that there is a painter somewhere in you and he's trying to get out but he can't because you won't let him so you need to let him out let him out yeah Slavene, how much of uh, monumental do you have to paint to be over with in a percentage or if you know exactly how many miniatures military or whatever you have left do share with us and since this outbreak is happening I guess you will be done way sooner than you thought you will be with them okay <coughs> Zeblik says that worst part of the painting is that you see mistakes that nobody else sees on the miniatures and that could not be more correct there is something that I'm constantly trying to battle always telling myself nobody knows the mistake is here you are the only one just ignore it and go your way but sometimes it's really hard when you really want to do a good job on a miniature and all that so you are really trying your best and then you messed up okay so he has a belt I decided that his belt is also the brown color I think that was the mistake because it will be much easier to go with the black and it will be probably hard to recognize that I painted brown okay I think we are done with all the straps and everything at least, I, at least it looks like so I know I did few mistakes down here so I have to cover that up with the white color I went over with the brown over some parts that should be metal so let's just close this color up so we don't spill it over like it happened only Greeks from core then scouts and then the expansions 
Oh man, <coughs> Slavin, you really painted a lot of that monumental. Oh man, how could we share pictures here? It would be really cool if someone could share the picture, like what they are doing right now while we are painting all together or just talking. That would be some cool stuff. Okay, so I need to repair these little rivets here. They should definitely not be brown since these are the metal, so they should definitely be white. Now, uh, the problem is that my white of uh, my color white is much whiter than the white primer that I use. So we need to smudge it all over the place a little bit just to hide it out so you don't see the transition that easily. Over here it won't be even noticeable. But we're just going to do it like so. Just so you don't notice that I did some mistakes. Wait, I have some messages, I think. Oh, Slaven is sending us photos of his painted miniatures, I think. And maybe I can show them to you on the mobile phone. Okay, so, yeah, let's do it like this. This is what Slaven is working on right now. This guy over here. Yeah, this is cool. I can show off your work, man. Okay, continue to painting crossbones. Crossbones, uh, okay, okay, what else, what else? Okay, now we are going to go and paint the Black Templar. And if you are hearing super strange noises from the back, that's my wife jumping the rope. Next thing, Black Templar, and we are going to paint most of his armor, his head, so this will be like the main color of his. Okay, so we are going to start with the head and then proceed downwards. I just have to be careful not to go over his front face, that mask that he has. So So I said I need to be careful not to go over it and I went over it really not trying to oh my god I did another mistake okay I'll definitely have to come back and cover that up definitely a problem it looks awful but the rest of it looks good so So we got the head. Let's continue and paint his uh, like he, this vest that he has. But this one, we are going to do something with it. We're gonna go with the wash after everything dries up because I think that will be a nicely done transition from one color to another to give it a little bit more brownish look for the armor for the parts these pouches and everything but still differentiate from the from those brown straps and all that so yeah just bear with me I I'm I can't explain it well but you'll see what I do and be the judge if it looks cool or not I think it's a nice little thing that I completely discovered on an accident 
I tried something and it went <laughs> well so I decided to stick with it and now I'm using it on almost all the miniatures that I do with black but I want to like give it a little bit of more tone not just leave it at the, at the black so yeah okay oh I just pulled a little too much of a black so I need to be fast because it starts drying out I need to be fast and spread it all over the miniature so things like this can happen no worries it is how it is I say a lot words it is how it is but that I just use them when I'm stuck when when I stuck with my English and I don't know what to say next then that is my like get out of the jail free card word or however you want to think of it okay yeah this is going really nicely I like how the miniature is coming out I think he will look pretty sick when I'm done he will be like the badass he is so I just need to touch up on around the knife now I'm trying to be super careful around this knife because I want knife to be different color I want to use some other gray colors that I have on the on it so to make it visually interesting since this miniature is really really dark and I want to avoid being it completely dark miniature So I think I got more messages from somebody. No. Okay. Let us continue our work. Now I see some straps here that I kind of missed, but we are going to leave those black. So yeah. Okay. Just around this place here and around here, okay, in the middle of these straps. Yep. Looking cool looking really really cool I like that I decided to go with the green on his shirt it really makes miniature look better in my opinion it looks more visually interesting Ooh, the word of the day is visually interesting <laughs> so yeah I like how it just breaks the model a little bit not really sure uh, and I don't really know how to explain it but I just like it okay what else is new nothing is new I know we have some dead air but I'm just really focus focusing 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 on not messing things up around this part because I really don't want to go with the white again and all that 
as you already might know we have a sort of challenge here I challenged myself to paint all these miniatures for Marvel under an hour so I have an hour or so like around an hour to paint the miniature but to not sacrifice that much on, on the details maybe or something so you know just to be done with it so I really want to do the best I can and still do it quickly and show you that you can have really nice miniatures if you just put a little bit of effort in it and one hour of your time I am by no means pro painter or like a super skilled painter uh, I just think that I can do a decent job and I want to show you that you can do it too because we are practically the same okay so his boots are really I'm trying to avoid the pavement because the pavement needs to be yellow so I don't want to mess it up If I do mess it up, I will cover it up, but we don't want to do that. We want to avoid that from happening. Okay. So, this leg around this part is super tricky. I usually really hate painting two things and that is models that have lots of straps because they continuously break your flow of painting you have con continuously start and stop and I also hate painting round things like stuff or whatever pole the model is holding or something along those lines these are just pain in the neck I won't say the nasty word so yeah we are almost done just the boot left over here I hope I'm, I don't wander too much off the camera, I'm completely not watching on the camera where I am while I'm painting, so I apologize in advance if, I, if you missed some parts, but this is like semi tutorial, these videos are made mostly to give you an idea of how you could paint something up not like to teach you but if you learn something from it I would not be mad at you I would think it's a cool thing okay okay so the black of the uniform okay we have some missed spots here I'm just checking out if I missed any spot or anything but as I can see just these little few little things here and there nothing nothing much actually I did a pretty decent job I think I did a pretty decent job okay so that is black all done and complete next up we are going to oh we are not done with the black what about his gloves so yeah we are not done we still need black templar to paint the gloves yeah i almost forgot about it ok 
okay on a glove so I'm going to avoid these brass knuckles that he has here because I want to paint these in the different color in the color that I want to paint those armors on, on his legs that I left out on purpose so we're gonna come to it in a second just after we finish these gloves over here underneath it so anything new nope nothing new in the chat I meant nothing new in the chat okay the gloves are complete okay now we are done with the black at least I think I won't be 100% that it's like so okay so the next thing we need to repair if that white is not all dried up yet let me just quickly see we need to repair that little mistake that we did over here I really want this to be white and not black I want it to look good since it's his face people will look at it okay I repaired okay next thing up we have this uh, basilicanum gray and we're gonna use it for some buckles and, and for some for the gun and for the knife I just need to shake it very very well so basilicanum gray is next and it's a little bit more of a grayish than black color as you will see in a minute if I would go two or three times I would probably like, get the look like this black but I wanted to, to differentiate it a little bit so just gonna keep it like so okay so this thing here and uh, yeah these buckles here I want to go with them. I want to do them gray, and then all the other things are going to be a different type of gray, a little bit like a bluish grayish color, just to give it like it's a more expensive metal material or something along those lines. At least that's what I'm aiming for. Is it going to look like that? Who knows. I surely don't know <laughs> okay yeah yeah of course the knife the knife we need to paint the knife but everything except the handle the handle I want to be like yellowish brownish color just to show it off a little bit more so 
bottom part we are going to go with the gray and just make it like so okay I think this looks good so far I really like how it's turning out so far love it okay you know one thing I forgot see again so we still need this basilicanum gray because we need to paint this like uh, drain or whatever it is on the base so for that I'm gonna just use a big brush and damp around the base just to fill up all the holes on this thing A little mistake slipped through but nothing to worry about maybe I can just with a wet brush take it off okay it went, it went out really nicely now we are done with basilicanum gray okay okay basilicanum gray is done gun is done the knife is done so now we are going to go with the grief charger gray that's like a little bluish gray as you can see on the bottom where all the pigments set up <laughs> set down so I just need to shake it up really good just for that white pigment as you can see now it's gone these contrast paints are really cool but you really need to shake them down firmly before use just so you can get the best out of them okay so grief charger gray we're gonna do the knuckles we're gonna do all these metal parts on his legs just to make them appear like they're super I don't know super some super my, my material like a vibranium maybe or something along those lines I just want them to look a little bit different than the rest of the metal so this miniature does not look that boring if I just painted it entire black which I easily could it would be a 15 minute job at most but you always want to do more if you can it is desirable okay see it looks kind of greenish I know that uh, as I already told you my lights and camera is not the best but this is just to give you an idea what can you do with the contrast paints and that that's why I'm trying to make Kotska a painter because with these contrast paints you can really do a great great job with so little effort you just need to stay in the lines and that is all you are a painter and uh, something okay so the knuckles <coughs> the other one I'm purposely leaving the paint to pool a little bit just to give it some kind of shadowy look or something it looks cool okay so far I am very pleased how everything looks okay what are we going to do next okay just a quick apothecary white to go over his mask because if, if you leave it like this like pure white it really stands out too much it looks weird and like it's not supposed to be there so as you can see the pigment really set down so I need to shake it like super hard because I didn't use this paint in a while and if you don't use them that pigment will stick to the bottom you'll have a real trouble to undo him 
uh, it is slowly coming off. I'm sorry for the sounds, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> this was some job done. Okay, for this I'm going to use the. I'm going to use a small, small brush because I really want to have the control over where it goes. I don't want him to go into eyes and then obscure the paint that I did on the eyes. So yeah, I just want it to go along this mouth of his. Oh my God, that's a lot of paint. see but there is definitely a difference in paint it looks way way better than just pure white now when I'm looking at it I kind of don't like that these these mm, that he has on his legs these armors I don't know it kind of looks like he has too much colors and everything on it so but I really don't want to repair it I really want to stick it like so and we are at 46 minutes and I presume that we will be done pretty pretty soon so next thing we are going to use Agarosh Dunes and that is just for this race part of the base I'm going over to paint the base now so we are just going to use this agarosh dunes to paint this raised part of the base because the lower part will paint with another color to give it a little bit of different look otherwise it would be look super boring if it was just the same brownish color all around the place okay that's done oh yeah also I'm gonna use this color to paint the handle of the knife Maybe I should have gone with the brown. Maybe this would be like a little bit of too much of the circus. I'm really okay. You know what? No, we're going to go with the wild wood brown that we used for all the straps and everything. So we're gonna paint. Where is it? Where is it? It's hiding somewhere. Okay, it's here. So we're gonna paint it with that color because I think it would be a way way better idea there is already enough of different colors on the miniature so we really don't need another one yeah this looks much much better in a tone with the entire miniature than if it would that yellowish like the base way better if you can see it looks much much better okay that out of the way what else we have here from all the different colors I think we are going to go with the with the thing that I want to do with his uh, with his uh, vest because his vest is kind of black like his uh, trousers and his shoes and I want to make it a little bit of difference between those so I'm gonna take the Agrax earth shade and I'm gonna shade with the brown over that black it will slightly change the color of the black but not enough just a subtle subtle difference uh, difference will be so subtle that you will probably not see it on a camera 
but trust me when I tell you that it is there so yeah let's see how that will work out yep okay I'm really liking it just really giving it a little bit of different look more of a brownish tone and I'm just gonna go over these pouches at the front like these things here and here and uh, on the back I'm just gonna go over this part here in particular I will not put it on anything else I think and this will give it a little bit of subtle difference I like it looks really cool I could have maybe gone with even lighter brown maybe but we are now where we are and we're gonna leave it that way okay so that being done I'm just watching what else I need to do oh okay the base the base itself needs to be done and we are almost over by that point so we are going to go with the skeleton horde and just go over the entire base and even this raised part to, to just darken it a little bit more to give it like a little bit of darker look shade to it however you wanna call it okay this skeleton horde really turned out dark not sure why Oh, I just had it a lot on the brush but once you brush it all over the base because I want it to be like a little bit lighter in color the base so it differentiates lots of the miniatures lots of miniatures are black so I decided to go with these like dusty not dusty the dust like uh, oh my god I'm missing the word this desert desert not dust but desert base because uh, to raise it a little bit from that black of the miniature so it doesn't look like that all the way okay I notice on the camera when I'm watching while I'm painting and I sometimes watch the camera now this part here it looks like it's not painted like it's white but it really isn't so yeah I will repeat this as many times as I need uh, the the paints look very different in real life uh, most of the time you can go and check my Instagram there is picture of these miniatures on my Instagram profile so you can check them there so yeah we kind of can say that he is done that is 53 minutes or so Zeblik says looking great thank you my friend I am super satisfied how it looks I just wish that colors that you could see more of the colors I'm gonna I need to wait for paint a little bit dried up so I'm going to try and mandle with the settings so maybe try and make them make the colors look more realistic yeah like if I do it if I if I uh, amp up the saturation you kind of get near what it looks like so I think that's the way to go saturation is pretty low as you can see if I go on the right now we get to a place where it actually looks similar to this so I need to 
configure this in the camera the saturation a little bit bigger than what it is right now I think that would work about 180 of saturation now the miniature looks like I see it and when I look at least that's how it looks on my monitor which means that it might not look like that on your monitor but I like how the guy turned out Slavin says done looks great uh, do you mean you are done with yours and that yours look great or do you mean that mine looks great oh you sent me a picture wait a second okay so everybody Slavin was doing this while I was painting the crossbones and now it looks like this he is done this is cool showing other people's images <laughs> maybe this could be a thing maybe I can do it somehow on the computer maybe I have to see if OBS has those types of settings or something okay last thing that we need to do but I still think of this challenge as complete even though if this takes a little bit more time than four minutes we have now four minutes till one hour so I would think that this miniature is complete we just need to paint the rim of the base and uh, we got it in the same time <laughs> yeah I'm not doing bases later I want to do them now because I know I want I, I will be super lazy to do them later so I now have time I'm not doing anything so I'm going to do a base and as always as with all these marvel miniatures I'm just using a regular Vallejo black color going over the entire rim of the base and that upper part and that is that I probably need to do two coats. I kind of diluted color too much. I really liked. I really enjoyed. Not liked. Yeah, but I liked. But I also enjoyed painting these crossbones. I thought it would be a boring miniature to paint, due to the thing, the fact <laughs> that he is mostly black his uniform and everything but if you bring these few little subtle differences you really get a nicely looking miniature of crossbones okay so need to switch out for a little bit of lighter a uh, smaller not lighter <laughs> smaller brush just to have more control over this part because on the black widow I messed up a little bit but uh, on others I didn't so I want to keep it like that and maybe go and fix the black widow later when I feel like it yep this color contrast color is not all dried up here but it will not notice be noticeable because it's black color so it will overpower its pigment of the this skeletal one so we are if I must may say officially done and it's 59 minutes and 14 seconds on the clock and I would say that we are done and that will conclude this challenge challenge complete so I managed to paint the miniature in under or around an hour and I'm happy how it looks so yeah that is that that is crossbones uh, 
as I already mentioned, I really enjoyed painting this one. It was really, really cool miniature to paint. Only thing that I regret is not putting some more rubble on these bases because they look like they're really nice scenic bases, but at the moment they can look really bland and samey. So some rubble would be really nice. Yeah, yeah, you need <laughs> Slavin, the one that he painted, that guy that he painted, he needs like eight more of those. Uh, why don't you do a batch paint? my friend that way you would be much much quicker batch painting when you have the same miniatures is super easy just mount two or three of them one again one uh, near the other like for example you have one here one here one here and you start painting and you paint all the red parts on this one all the red on this one all the red on this one because you paint all the same parts it goes way way quicker than than like this one by one miniature think about it and it will save you some paints and all that uh, but yeah that is that thank you thank you all for uh, you do batch paint oh okay because you showed me the picture of only one so I thought you painting one by one uh, but yeah if that is uh, oh you wanted to paint with me oh wait wait I want to make a little hard for you or something <laughs> wait 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 so Slaven says, but I wanted to paint with you, and my answer is, oh, <laughs> yeah, so I think that's enough. Uh, I mean, it's not too late. I could maybe make myself paint one more miniature, something easy like Ultron. Ultron is like two colors, <laughs> and you are done with it. I'm not really sure should I do it should I paint the Ultron because he's he's all of the metal parts and just need few glowy orangey parts like his mouth his eyes few of these things here and he's done so I could probably do him in in about I don't know 20 minutes because I need to wait for the paint to dry off <laughs> but I don't know maybe I could paint that one Yeah, I saw you batch painting Slav and I saw you when, when I came, came by to pick up the game from you, Maracaibo. I saw you have lots of them on, on here, but somehow I completely forgot about it. So yeah, it is done. It is complete. Uh, but you will only need to paint for 20 minutes, no more, <laughs> since this would that would be like a job for, you know what? I'm going to paint Ultron, uh, be right back, I just need to go drink some water, uh, I will stop this stream and start new one because I want each stream to be uh, w just one miniature, so yeah, if you want to stay here I will be uh, up and running in like 10-15 minutes, ok now it's 22.37, let's say 22.45 we are up and running see you until uh, for everybody else who will not join us who is watching this later uh, thank you for joining me thank you for watching me painting this one i hope you got some ideas for yourself and until next time pozdrav